Hello folks and welcome, Debian 12 Bookworm. Today's video is going to be about decorating your desktop, changing themes and icon sets. Not everybody's thing. But if you'd like to uh, change some of your icons to something more colorful, I will show you how to do that. You may not like this set, but I'll show you a website that has over a thousand different themes and icon sets. And I'll show you how to install them and more importantly how to uninstall them. And if they don't install through the automated installer through your appearance, uh, I will show you how to install them manually and also uninstall them. I'll show you where the folder locations are and some of the differences and maybe some troubleshooting in case things fail. Debian 12 Bookworm XFCE Desktop version 418. You can see my hardware. You are watching this on Linux for seniors. There should be an icon of a person near my shutdown now key. Um, you can subscribe there. 290 videos and growing and I also have a lot of links in my about section. I'll be mentioning two of those today. I'm going to close this box and let's open up appearance. Your box will be different. Under the appearance, I have some themes or styles installed. I also have some icon sets installed. We have an add button here and an add button here. We do not have any remove buttons. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to remove some of these using your file manager. This one was installed manually because it wouldn't install using that button. Same thing goes with this mouse cursor. I had to install that manually because they wouldn't install through this. Usually when you install a theme or an icon set, you'll see them in here. If you install a mouse cursor, mouse pointer, you will install it through here, but you'll pick it through here. And you'll see it under this theme section. Here's an example of one. And uh, if you download this one from this website, I'll show you in a couple of three or four minutes, or maybe longer, um, this one will install without a problem. This one will, will, uh, will, will not install unless you do it manually. I think this one will work the same way. This one got installed when I installed an icon set. That's unusual, but I'll point to that when I get there. Why don't I use the yellow one for a while though? And usually when you change pointers, I do recommend logging in and out on any Linux distro. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. You may not like this set. That's why I'm going to show you a website that has over a thousand of these things. So let me step through the file manager and give you some examples of icon sets first. We can also talk about themes. You may not like the lighter colors. Maybe you'll want the real dark ones or even that color. The tones change slightly too when you're doing this. This theme had to be installed manually also. But I'm just giving you some examples. I don't know what you like, light or dark themes. Okay, I'm going to leave this one. This is a manually installed theme. You'll notice also that most of these say GDK 3s on them. I'll talk about that when I show you this website. But I'm going to first start with icon sets. Starting with the top one. Just giving you some examples. Making it from small to large. You should already have this one. This one you, you can install but you don't have that one. My philosophy is when you try out icon sets and themes is try it yourself. Don't take my word for it. Okay, this is what candy icons look like. That's the smallest and they're kind of hollow. And as you uh, make them larger, they kind of go solid. This one's your standard gnome, high contrast. This one is called Sweet Rainbow. Again, you may not like these, but I will show you over a thousand different sets that you can install. This one here I think looks better in the dark theme than a lighter color theme, but that's just me. All right, Tango, I think you are, yeah, that's already installed by default. And then I have this one installed and that one actually installed also a mouse cursor. And the last one is called Windows uh, Beauty. I'll give you the examples of small to large on that one. So I'm not even sure what you would like for me to proceed with, but uh, I will just leave it in that mode right there for a second. 
So you, add, you can add these manually if your download folder, which I have a whole bunch of these, are in the format that this can read. Now one of these styles I tried to install, this one, does not read this file right here. And I downloaded this from the same website. I downloaded all, all of these. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this to a uh, dark mode for a second and just point to the files. So tar.gz, if you don't know what tar is, it's tape archive. It's been around since the Unix days and I've been around computers for over 40 years. But anyways, tar, if you don't have anything on the back end like .gz, then it's not compressed. If it's a regular tar, it's not compressed. You'll also see themes that are like that on the same website I'm about to show you. This is in tar.exe. It's a different compression, but it's still tar, tape archive, compressed a little differently than GZ. Then you also have zip, tar GZ, GZ, XE, GZ, 7Z, XE, and XE. Now, if you're using your automated installer, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten files here, right? I'll minimize that for a second. When you're using that, you're going to be pointing to your download folder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's missing one. So basically, Sunrise, I installed manually. And the reason for that is well, I'm going to show you why. So if you did not know about this uh, hidden procedure, you can hit Control F and it'll produce a, a search box at the top. And I'll type in SUN. You can see the file here, sunrise.7z, but when I click on it, it'll fail. Okay. Sometimes you'll install a mouse theme also, and it looks like it worked. But then when you go check it, you don't see it in the menu here. This is where you select it. But you can install it through here. Mouse themes, mouse cursors. This is a regular style and icon sets. All right, so what I'm going to do is reinstall that to give you a little troubleshooting because I'm going to show you where these files are located. So it's a good idea to understand this process. I don't know if you want me to use these or solid icons. Let me switch this over to maybe something solid. Let's just go with standard icon sets, something you can probably relate to if you have this installed. So your file manager, Thunar, that's the standard icon, and you should see it when I switch themes. It'll be a different icon. But anyways, your file manager, Thunar, has also the option of showing you hidden files and folders. If you haven't seen this yet, it's Control-H. You can click it or just use Control-H. Now you see it, now you don't. I uh, create this folder quite often, dot icons, period icons. It's a hidden folder. So today I'm going to talk about this folder and that folder. If you successfully install an icon set through the automated process, this part right here, okay, if you install an icon set successfully or a mouse pointer, it'll uh, automatically generate this folder if you don't have it. The same thing goes with uh, themes and styles. If you automatically install one of those successfully, it'll install this folder. You can also manually create these. Right click, create folder. So what's in dot icons? Well, radioactive is my mouse pointer. I also have a couple more. Let me show you those right now. So I can point to what I'm actually doing here. All right, so under themes, I'm trying to get this box up. Beata Original Amber is this one right here. The Azenis is this one here. And uh, this website that I'm about to show you a little bit later, this mouse pointer comes in different sizes. It, you can get it at a fixed 32, a fixed 48, and a variable. This is a variable. It looks like go small all the way to 16. You can barely see it. Okay. I'm not going to focus in on mouse cursors, though. Just wanted to let you see that that's a mouse pointer, that's a mouse pointer, and that's a mouse pointer. So what are the rest of these? These are icon sets. They're mixed in the same folder and the system knows it. These are my things that I installed. And these are the themes or styles. So if I open up my appearance section, the styles will match up to whatever is in here.
that I manually installed. Amy Dark is that one. Dexy is this one. Lay in Light is this one. And you're probably wondering, no, you skipped over some. That's because these are installed in a different location. USR Share Themes. But I'm not going to talk about that folder. The Sunrise is here and I had to manually install that. And this is Sweet Ambar Blue and Mars. The same developer I believe created also Sweet Yellow and Rainbow icon sets along with themes. Everybody's a little different, right? Switching back to these two. So I'm going to wipe out all of the themes that are in here and what am I currently using? I'm going to actually, uh, it doesn't matter. It'll just revert back to the standard theme. But before I do that, I just want to make sure that this is empty so I can do a, a restart without a problem. So what I'm going to do here is wipe out all the themes and also wipe out all the icon sets and also the mouse pointers, control A, but I'm gonna deselect that one. Now I should be back to default minus one yellow mouse pointer called radioactive. I'll need to go back out and back in to let you see this. This is your default two mouse pointers. I added this one because it's installed in dot icons. So far so good, there's no removal key here. In your themes or appearance, you'll have three standard ones unless they updated their installer for Debian 12 to add more of these. But this is what I have for default styles or themes. These are normally installed in your USR share folders, usually protected by root permissions. So I'm not really going to get into that in this video. These are your standard icon sets also installed in USR share subfolders. When you add things, it installs them in your local folders called dot themes or dot icons, depending on which one it is. But this is what you have for default. Does it mean I have to re-add these? No, the beauty of using your file manager, because I already have these installed, is I can do a restore. Control A, right click, restore. Now they should all be back online and I can, uh, where am I at here? Sorry, applications. I didn't realize how many windows I had open. Um, they're back online. It doesn't matter which one it is. Uh, I'll pick that one. And uh, what icon set? Why don't we use that one for right now? Okay, all these icons also changed. So that's the file manager where it looks like right now. So dot icons contains mouse pointers and icon sets. The dot themes contain the styles or themes. One, two, three, four, five, six is what I added. This one I did manually because the installer wouldn't, wouldn't see it. So delete. Let's do this again, if I didn't show this earlier. All right, so I will go in here and point out the fact that I have some files that I downloaded already from a certain website, which I'll show you. They're in here. Okay, and we're looking for this one, .7z. And again, your installer is not going to find this if I said this earlier. I'm just going to repeat that. So if I hit Add, Downloads, there's no 7z. Again, I can use Control-F. Type in SUN, it will find the file, but it will fail to install. So we do this manually through the file manager. No big deal. Uh, where's my downloads? Right here. Okay. Right click, extract here, extracts into a folder, right click, cut, go back up one and dump it in here manually. It's got to be in a folder. And then I can close and select it. So that's a manual install of a theme. There's Sunrise right there. Okay, same thing goes with mouse cursors. This yellow thing didn't install properly either. So I can always install these things manually. Okay, I will switch over to maybe that one. And I don't know what icon set we want to use now. 
Let's try Sweet Rainbow. All right, so I am going to use Control H. Now let's explain where these come from. So they're in different formats, and I guess I told you the automatic installer does not like 7Zs, but that means you, you, you can still use them if you uncompress them manually. The same thing with mouse cursors. Where is that one at? Radioactive. Extract manually. Mouse cursors go in dot icons. Sunrise is a theme. It goes into dot themes. So where is this website? Are you a subscriber yet? I highly encourage that you do that. So you can find not only more videos, but you can also click some links. So this is what my YouTube site looks like if you're not a subscriber. You can also use the search feature. Um, if I can know how to spell. If you just type in Debian, it starts guessing at what videos you're looking for. So you just put in the subject matter in here. All right, that's not the reason I, I brought you in here. I wanted to show you that when you click this, you can read about me here, but more importantly, there are links right here. Whether you click it here or here. Made, this may be different on a different web browser, but go to the About section if you have one of those. If you don't have an About key in here, then click one of these links up here. So I'm going to open up two of them. One is gnome-look.org, which is that one is loading. And then I'll open up the um, xfce-look. So the keyword is dash look.org on this. One says eye candy with XFCE. 825 mouse cursors here. And gnome dash look.org has the same amount. I'll uh, let you see what the GDK threes are. And that's what I recommend that you use. 1531, 1531. So you can probably guess that they're sharing databases. So you have themes because most of your applications are more likely GDK threes and this version is XFCE 416 for instance. That shouldn't deter you from trying different themes though. So here's theme sets 1531 pick your flavor. Okay so if you want I'll download bubble. I'm not even sure what it's designed for but I'm uh, of the opinion that you should try things for yourself and not take somebody else's opinion. So that's in 7z. Perfect. We'll do the lighter one. I'll wait for that because uh, both the dash look.org's websites are now having sponsors for the developers, which is great. They give them a mini tip. Not you, them. Wonderful thing. You know, a lot of folks are doing free work in the Linux community. All right, so we're going to deal with that later. Themes, and then you got full icon sets. The same deal, uh, I'll just pick the first one, click, and then click the files that you want. This one's in tar.gz. Vivid, I think it's very close to that other one. We'll download that one too, why not? So while I'm at it, while it's waiting for the countdown, then you have mouse cursors at the top. And if you're curious, I'll show you where this one is located. On either one of those websites, gnome-look or or xfce dash look it doesn't matter they both have the same search feature it's at the top it's a very inconspicuous and easy to miss most people are trying it in here so use that one at the top r a d i o radioactive is the name of this mouse pointer or cursor has a very good explanation of what i've been talking about your dot icons is where these need to go Keep in mind, if you decide to get this one, it's this file right here, tar.gz, and it does not install through the automatic installer. You will have to manually uncompress this and throw it in your dot icons. This also explains what I was talking about the other folders. USR share icons is where the other cursors are located, the, the only two that you have installed. There's also USR share themes. Both those folders are protected by root permissions. That's why I only talk about this on my new channel with this. I used to talk about these with my last channel. You need root permissions to add and remove anything out of this folder. But you have full ownership of this one, including creating it yourself. All right. So 1,531 themes here. Um, you can certainly try GDK2s. I tried a couple of them and they didn't work too well for me. So GDK 3 and 4s, full icon themes, 1688, 
find what you like. Cursor is the same thing if you want to install mouse cursors. They're all done through the same website. And when you get done, it'll be sitting in your download folders. And uh, I know I have a lot of stuff in here, so let me find out what I, I did the Vivid. And I think it was one more thing. I think it was Bubble. So I'm not even going to bother opening up the auto installer for Bubble because it will not uninstall or install .7z. So I'm going to manually uncompress that one and then cut it and throw it in my themes. Dot themes, control H. It needs to go in here. But we will try to install the other one manually. So open that up. Settings manager, appearance. That's bubble right there. Very similar to another theme I saw earlier. It's kind of washed out almost. Anyways, that's bubble. So I will use that one for right now and hit add downloads. And what was the other one called? Vivid. That's right. Open. Let's go check to see what that looks like. Here's Vivid. Let's take a peek at these icons. They're very close to that other one. Control H. So that one's called Vivid. Oh, I see. It turns into multi colors as you're going 100%. And then it. Oh, that's an interesting effect. They go hollow, solid, 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 hollow, solid, hollow, hollow, hollow. Interesting. I'm talking about the innards. All right. So that is called vivid dark icons. See what it looks like in the lighter theme. So now you can get a different perspective of what they look like in a lighter, darker color. But you can see I can do this in a couple seconds. So again, you add them in here. If they fail, you uncompress them manually. And then you dump them in two, only two folders, file manager time. Your two folders are hidden, control H. Your icon sets go in dot icons. That should be easy to remember. And so does your mouse pointers. Mouse pointer, mouse pointer, mouse pointer, icon sets. And that was the only oddball. That one contained also a cursor theme inside of that subfolder. That's a rarity, actually. You can see there's no cursor folder in here. This was candy icons. Anyways, that's where icons belong and dot icons and also mouse pointers. Moving up one, the dot themes are your styles or your themes. Different names for these, yes. But that's what these are. First one is Amy Dark. That's that one. The bubble lighter, which was extremely bright, is this one. And then Dexy is that one. And Lay and Light is right here and so forth and so on. Don't forget, you can mix and match. So if you don't like that, maybe we'll try different icon sets. Just giving you some perspective on things. Okay. I'll switch this back to the standard ones and we'll go with the dark theme so it's not so blaring. Let's do a recap. Your themes get installed in dot themes. If the folder is not there, you can create it. You can also, if you successfully install that through the automation tool of settings, appearance, add, then it'll create the folder themes. If you successfully install an icon set, it will create this folder here. Or if you decide to add a mouse cursor, it will also add it here. If you are doing a mouse cursor that fails, I'm going to show you that example right now. So I will actually do some troubleshooting with you. I'll switch to the default one for right now using a dark theme. I'm going to remove that one. There's no removal here, but I will kill it right here. Now it's gone. And I'll verify that with you by going into there to let you see that it's actually gone. It's no longer here. I have that one though, sitting in my download folder. Uh, if I can find the folder, there we go. It is this one. I downloaded that from xfce-look.org or gnome-look.org. Again, they share databases. 
and you're going to try to install that tar.gz tape archive compressed compressed tar appearance and downloads where is it at radioactive but remember it doesn't show up in here so you don't know if it's installed or not but you noticed I got no errors there's nothing that said it had a problem so let's go find it in there because it should show up in this area here themes for mouse pointers mouse and touchpad it's not here is it nope However, when I open up my dot icons folder, you're going to see an extra folder in here called index theme and nothing else. Because your mouse pointers, this is a, a regular one, usually has an index and a cursor folder. This only has an index theme, but it, it's not in a proper folder configuration. So that means that it's garbage. It's, it's no good. That was a bad install. So you saw that automatic installer that I went through here failed. I added that and it didn't work. Most people give up on this. I don't. I can install things manually. So I'm going to delete that because we're not going to need it anymore because it's not usable. I'm going to uncompress this manually. Right click, extract here. It should extract into a folder and more importantly it has an index theme and a cursor file. Sometimes you'll see extra files. These are the two bare minimums that you need for mouse cursors. Right click, cut, and where's it belong? Dot icons. That's where your mouse cursors and icon sets need to be. Now I'll switch to the other one because I'm pretty confident that it's here because I've done this so many times. There's no removal keys here. There's no uninstall. There's no install either, but you select them in here. My suggestion too is when you're switching these things like I'm doing now is to log in and out of your system at a bare minimum if not a reboot. This is the only oddball. That one actually is installed in here in also dot icons but it's inside of this folder here that also contains icons but it has a cursor themes also. That's an unusual one because Candy Icon doesn't have a cursor theme. Okay. switching back to the yellow guy thank you for watching